For today's tutorial, we are going to delineate watershed using the HEC HMS 4.13. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for more of these videos. Our in our previous um, tutorial on watershed delineation, we used uh, HEC JU HMS or the HMS uh, incorporated to ArcGIS software for but today it is now embedded on these new updates of heck hms so let's start we have to open our uh, heck hms and then we have to create a new project and then we go to the uh, components and then we add this uh, basin model uh, new basin model and then we click on this is in one so in here we still have don't we still don't have uh, any data in our uh, GIS uh, interface and so next is we have to set our projection so the same as in the class we set the projection that is fitted to our uh, locality so in here we already have created a projection so basically we just uh, uh, browse it and then uh, click on it and then after this we can now ready to uh, load our terrain so in the terrain data that is still none since we have not yet uh, uh, loaded our terrain now we go again to the components and then terrain data manager so we click in new and then uh, we already have, we have to click on our uh, terrain you can browse click next and then browse the terrain the location of our terrain so in here we already have uh, created the terrain so we have our own terrain so basically our uh, file file type is tif so this one here we got it here okay and then click finish then close and then <coughs> see here and we go back to basin one and then we kind of click here the terrain that we have loaded and we click on the terrain so it is now seen in our working area and then mm. we can now pre-process our terrain so just like in the heck geo ras or heck geo hms uh, we can find it here also so we first we click on the pre-process uh sinks and then the drainage so it's very fast uh, depending upon the size of your uh, terrain so after the drainage we can now identify the uh break point so it's where usually located the to where the data was collected like in the bridge or on the bridge and other site where there are rain uh, dead gauge and flows were collected and be sure that it is uh, intersecting the uh, drainage line okay and after that we can now uh, delineate our uh, watershed so, and then that's it so we now produce our sub basins so in here we only have one uh, sub basin and they click connected to our outflow or sink and then we can uh, we can choose what uh, what features are we going to see from this so we can turn off other features so that these uh, delineated submission will only appear to our uh, interface so that's it 
So we have sub DC. So close, and now we can now set the uh, parameters of the sub DC. So we right click and then edit. So in here, so we can uh, see the loss. We go to the loss. We don't have snow in the Philippines, so we directly go to the loss. So in loss, uh, we can uh, put uh, initial obstruction. We initially put the zero there, and then curve number. So curve number depends upon uh, the location of our area. So initially, we put here 55. And then zero and then we put some lag time put uh, 250 but we this can be uh, manually computed uh, using uh, other data available from our uh, our previous uh, uh, data we have made and then apply and we close now we are ready to uh, input our rainfall data so we click on the components and then we go to the time series data we click new time series okay so we can uh, change the name here rain gauge so if you have a lot of rain gauge you can uh, also add in here we only have one rain gauge and then close and then we go to the uh, time of this, since this is time series. Uh, okay, click on the rain gauge and here, click on war uh, time window. So we, depending upon the time interval, it is collected in here, we have one hour. So we go back to the time interval, time window. So in our data, we have collected this with one hour uh, time interval and so this is from uh, one of the typhoons in the philippines and during the 2024 we just copy there paste and then we uh, change First, this uh, time and date period where the this rain fall where it's collected. Okay, so twenty four set here twenty four. So this is where the rain stop. And this one is eating. And we go to the uh, we paste the rainfall data this mm and this is a graph there you can see the graph then we go back again to the components and we add the uh, control specification manager so then uh, just wait quickly and then we open it control the war so this is way how how many days you are going to stop the simulation simulation period so in here we uh, align or in align it to our starting data of the collection and then uh, see and the end date the end date we can uh, we can exceed it like program like for uh, example we can uh, 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 and here we is that corona is that to 26 what is that dong the is that corona dong simulation will reach to the end yeah. uh, there is a, a drain period so we can also set to 10 minutes the output and then we click on the save and then we click again on the components and then we add the material decal data okay so make one okay so click on that 
and uh, we sit here in the so we click set the default and then this one click it here yes so that's it uh, we are now ready to so we go to the compute and then click on the Okay, compute and then run one next next thanks then click on finish then we click on our run one see so this is very fast and now we can ready and are ready to see the results so and here we have global summary the peak and then use of calibration so if you have uh, observed data this is where your calibration is will be uh, seen so we can have the graph between the rain and the uh, uh, hydrograph basically the results in here then is used for running or the input for the ECRAS model if you want to input using uh, flow hydrographs in a class so thank you for watching and uh, the next video i think that we are going to uh, make is on the calibration of our heterogeneous model don't forget to share and you may also ask questions to our comment section so thank you guys and uh, hope to see you on our next videos